Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are currently fighting against Ghana to uh, control Ghana. That, that's a remarkable concept, I know that. But I wanted to come down over here real quick and check on Mecca, which is really, really close to getting its blacksmiths done. 35 days, okay. So that's fine. We're raising up over here and it's going to take longer than 35 days to get raised. Cool. So we'll just hop over this way, and we're going to allow these blacksmiths to be done. Yep, people are joining in over here. 64k right now. Yeah, that's actually quite big. So that's fine. We'll let that grow. Five days left here. Well, actually, we're just chilling on seven. No, the tooltip stopped updating. Okay, that'll do it. So we're getting close to getting Mecha maxed out. We're getting close. Both of these need to go to level... Well, this needs to go to level 5. I think these two can go to level 6, correct? Yes. These two can go to level 6. So we're going to get Caravansary going, for sure. Primogeniture is what we're focused on right now, although Plate Armor is also coming in. So Primogeniture would be great. Rightful Ownership is, you know, useful. But I think we're probably going to go for Machicolations after Primogeniture and then into Cranes. So that'll be fine. This ransom seems acceptable. Sure, whatever. What do we have going on over here now? So we've got about 32,000 troops. We know we need about 70,000. That's fine. We can definitely scale up to that size of military. We have 200k in, st in stock here. So we'll be absolutely fine. Oh, this is enough. We do not need more than this. This is 100k troops. And in we go. Well, nearly 100k. Gift artifact, huh? Sure, it'll probably go away soon. But that's fine. So in we go here. Wow, that was a fast siege. Okay, that was a remarkably fast siege. Yes, indeed. They're sieging in Atagir, which is where? Here? I didn't expect them to embark down here and sail around. Actually, I really didn't, because isn't this impassable? Yeah. This is impassable. How did they get here? Hang on. How would they have gotten there? So, I mean, you could make the argument, oh, you just embark here and sail around. But you can't do that, though. Because you cannot pass through this body of water here. This is a hard division between the ocean up here and the ocean down here. So how did they get here? They definitely didn't walk over land all the way over. I'm 99% sure of that. It doesn't actually matter, to be clear. I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't know how they managed to do that. It's remarkable. They appear to have teleported, from what I can tell. We can beat them. It's not a problem. Oh, this is their ally. Never mind. I'm dumb. Th this is these guys, not these guys. Okay. So with that noted... We're probably going to want to send some additional troops over here. I want to keep an additional 10k with this stack. There we go. That's probably still not enough troops over here necessarily to prevent them from winning a battle, but it is enough to prevent them from stack wiping this. We're getting pulled in multiple directions. I, I can't believe that I just assumed that these were Ghana troops. They are not Ghana troops. Okay, so that's absolutely fine. We're going to walk northward and eliminate his allied troops up here. That's going to be a very easy victory for us. Now, where is Ghana's actual army? Oh, they're over here. Cool. I like it. That'll be fine. We did just inherit whatever this is. Oh, okay. That's slightly awkward. We'll grant those out. Fantastic. No problem there. Wow. Aquitaine exists. That's intriguing. For now, we're not going to go after that. 
it's kind of out of scope, but I mean, so is Ghana, so <laughs> there's that. We did lose a siege up over this way, but we're just coming in and fighting these guys, and this is going to be no problem whatsoever. Easy peasy. Hard stack wipes. Uh, maybe not all of these guys stack wiped, but those guys definitely got stack wiped. So next, I want to come over here and fight the Ghana troops directly. And we're just sieging our way down towards their capital here. And this will be fine. No problem at all. Now, we should at this point be in fog of war. They shouldn't know that we're coming, although they should suspect it. They should definitely suspect that we're on our way. We're also going to hit their capital here, and that could end the war on its own. But if we catch their force here, that will definitely also end the war combined with their capital siege. That's a guaranteed end to the war. We do catch them here. That looks like hard stack wipes. And indeed it is. Magnificent. We'll end the war there. And disband our troops. And just like that... We got that territory. Okay, that's not as much as I was hoping to get out of it. He must have made the kingdom title of Mali after we declared the war. Now we're truced with him. So we don't want to declare a war at this moment. That's fine. We can clean up this territory basically whenever we want. So we are above our vassal limit. This is unsurprising. We need to take a look around here and find locations like this, where we've got a bunch of, like, counts directly under us. We need to make this duchy title, and that will go to this fine gentleman here. There we go. No problem whatsoever there. Fantastic. Sure, we'll take your mysterious life. It's very mysterious indeed. So what do we want to go after next? We could definitely start breaking into India. We could go after the Mongol Empire, which would be hilarious. But I would rather wait until after it shatters, to be honest. That would be the best time to do that. We've got Berbera down here, which we're truce to. We've got Demont, which we can declare on. But it's kind of awkward. Do we have a good duchy that we can go for? This is a four-county duchy. We really need the Empire of Abyssinia, right? So in order to get that, we need 15 counties. I would love to get the Kingdom of Abyssinia. Unfortunately, that's just not an option. The Kingdom of Demont is, I think, also... Wait a second. There might be some options here. Nobody right off the bat. I'm wondering about this guy. 70 reasons not to. Okay. Who is this guy? Where is he? Mercenary Company. Okay, that explains things. I was like, hang on, why can't we invite him to Realm if he's unlanded? He is in charge of a mercenary company. Cool. So I think in that case, our best bet would be to Holy War for the Kingdom of Demont. It's not going to clean this up perfectly, but it will give us a de jure claim over the Kingdom of Abyssinia. And that would be very useful. So I'm going to do that. We have 20,000 off the bat. That's fine. We can just raise up a small amount of men-at-arms and some levy troops. We don't need all that much. He calls in a holy order. How strong is that holy order? 14k. Okay. Now his ally joins 28k. That's more like it. So we're going to group these guys together and in we go. He doesn't have a chance, to be honest. Not even a single chance here. We're going to catch his ally right there. That's a stack wipe. Apparently our wife died. And we're at nine. That was, I believe, our primary wife. So we'll marry this wife here. Yeah, that'll cost a little prestige, but that's fine. And we're, of course, going to make her be our primary spouse. And she's on managed domain. Cool. So that puts us at 10 out of 11. To some degree, that's because our stress is up. Okay. Noted on the stress being up. 
For now, let's split off a siege force and go fight. So we're going to send these guys, I think, directly to the capital, to be honest. That'll be fine. I'm not expecting a particularly challenging war here. And that indeed does appear to be the case. I like how the, the Christians have just kind of stopped trying to crusade on us. It's hilarious. I love it. So we're going to continue to take over his capital here. And his troops are running away from his capital, which is never a good sign. Never a good sign at all. I think this is the end of the war. 94? Oof. Okay, so we're going to need to get another siege done. Not like that'll take very long. And it's done. Fantastic. So we're going to get the Kingdom of Demont here. There we go. We're at 25 out of 11. We're going to have to hand out a few titles here. No doubt about that. And we're also going to be over our vassal limit from this. That's not shocking, but we will put together this realm, quote unquote, correctly. And that should solve the problem. So we're going to grant all of these on over. There's a lot of them. No doubt about it. Oh, that didn't open correctly. There we go. Cool. So that puts us at 11 out of 11, but I am going to grant this out. We can always take back one of our castles over here, right? That's not a problem. So we'll revoke that on back. Magnificent. And now I want to take a look. We're 14 direct vassals above our vassal limit. That's not shocking. There's a lot of those. Yes. So we're going to make duchy titles here. So I'm going to create this title and grant it over to this fine gentleman right here with the Emirate of Sharka. Cool. Next, we are going to head over to Jaffa, or actually Kaffa. This is not Jaffa at all. This is Kaffa. We're going to grant that to this fine gentleman here. Cool. Next up is the Emirate of Demont. So we'll usurp the Petty Kingdom here. And grant that over to this guy. Wonderful. And then we've got Shoa over here. So this will need to be created. And then be granted to this fine gentleman here. Wonderful. And that's all of the duchies created. Then we can go for the kingdom title, which we will, of course, usurp. And that will go to this guy. Cool. So now we only have one vassal instead of the, like, 15. Wonderful. I'm also noting that this split up into two different realms. We're truce to this one. So we can go after Bali. We can go after Berbera eventually. I do definitely want to make the Empire of Abyssinia here. Which we will do. And that does mean that, yeah, this is all de jure ours at this point. This guy would not accept vassalage, nor would this guy. I can't say I'm... His realm is remote from ours? He is literally entirely surrounded by our realm. Okay. I feel like we need to tick forward a bit here. <laughs> We also need to grant this back out. We lost a bunch of stress because of granting out those titles. Okay, is his realm still remote from ours? No. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. We actually might be able to convince him by just sending a gift. He only has 31 reasons not to. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. He'll do it with a religious exemption. I'm cool with that. We'll just use peer pressure instead of requiring him to convert. So then we've got this guy here. He's very upset. I can't say I'm shocked about that. I'm going to start a sway scheme on him, though. Then we've got this guy here. He has 79 reasons not to do this. We did recently wage war. Fair enough. This guy, however, he is a king. So he is not going to be very likely to want to let us do this, right? 
We need 270 reasons. So we're probably going to have to conquer him. We're back to being above our vassal limit because of this guy. Who do you belong to? You belong to Outer Ajuran. Okay. So we want to move you over here. There we go. Keep in mind, we still have a lot of messes like this over here. Maybe we should actually work on cleaning that up right now. That's not necessarily the worst idea in the world. There's some messes up here too. So we'd be able to create the Kingdom of Navarra. I think I'm just going to do king titles here. So the Sultanate of Navarra would go here. And then, can we make Castile? Yes, we can. So we would do that, and that would go to this fine gentleman here. This fine blind gentleman. We would need a new spy master, and that's fine. This is an emirate here. And that we don't hold the kingdom title for. So we can't really do too much about that right now. There's some stuff down over this way that I would very much like to deal with. It's all within the kingdom of Sahara. So where is that de jure at? Here? Sounds good. No, not the Empire of Abyssinia. Sultanate of Sahara. There we go. So that cleans up a lot of these vassals, right? And we're going to do the same things up over here. So these guys belong within the kingdom title of Arabia, which is our kingdom. So we only want duchy titles under us. Which I believe all of these are. Yeah, these are all duchy level realms. This here. Well, these are emirates up here. What is the duchy that this belongs to? Noted. Things are a little awkward here. I think I'm just going to grant that. It's not quite de jure lines, but I think I'm going to just grant that over to this guy for now. And then that's duchy rank. Okay. So kingdom titles out over this way. That's a kingdom title right now. We can definitely create the title kingdom of Persia and then grant that over to this guy right now. And that cleans up a lot of this. These are duchy rank realms out here. So this should be a kingdom title here that we actually currently hold. And we should grant that to this guy. So this is a kingdom level title here. This one. Yep. That is correct. Cool. So these are kingdom rank realms out here. And then we've got this nonsense going on here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. That should all be part of Transoxania. So we're just going to grant these titles over... Where are they? Oh, are these... Yeah, these are our vassals. Grant vassal. There we go. Not grant title. Grant vassal. That would help. So we're going to grant these vassals on over. We could request that this guy convert. 46% chance? Sure, we'll do it. Okay, sitting drives friendship? Sure. Cool, he converted. So that's absolutely great. Let's get rid of some of this stuff for now. Yeah, some of these guys are going to be upset, but that's fine. Reaffirm oath of true friendship. Sure. So we need a new steward, that'll be this guy, and a new spy master, that'll be this guy. Wonderful. Okay, so that is our realm somewhat reorganized, and it's a lot better now, for sure. A lot better. I'm hopeful that some of these guys will press those claims. Now, as far as Abyssinia goes, we're probably going to need to end up conquering it. We'll see how we want to do that. But I want to come up over this direction real quick. And I want to take a look at this kingdom title. Is there anybody that we can bring in to our court that is a claimant here? These guys like us a lot, but they're just not willing to. Why can we not invite this guy to court? Player. That would do it. Okay, so that's fine. How many reasons do these guys have? Over, like, 65, 180? Yeah, they just don't want to do it. It's because they're, they're, they're his liege's relative, right? So we're going to have to... Well, we're still truced here. We're going to have to find something else to fight for a bit. So maybe we come down and, and attack, like, Barmid. 
We can see if we've got anything over here. And these guys would not currently come to our court. We might be able to bribe some of them, though. This guy's only got 30 reasons not to. 40. 60. 25. Okay, we'll send this guy a bribe. He still wouldn't come over. Oh, my. Still 25 reasons. That didn't actually budget. That's kind of remarkable. Well, we have money to just throw around, right? Five reasons not to. Gross. <laughs> Absolutely gross. We can always do a duchy conquer. But I feel like these are barely worth our time. I don't know. It's, it's a thing, right? It, it'll take time to get through all of that. So the kingdom of Mali, or rather the sultanate of Mali here, doesn't have any good claims either. Sure. All of these ransoms should actually be okay. So I don't think there's any problem whatsoever here. Somebody stole an inventory artifact? Very rude. Very, very rude. So this is a kingdom tier realm here. We've got a lot of kingdom tier realms that we can look at. This is inauspicious. Okay. We've got Yoruba land here, which we can take a look at. Now, this one has a decent number of claimants. We might be able to find one here. 25 reasons, 15 reasons not to. Consider it done. We're going after Yoruba land. So this is going to be a little bit border gory for a little bit. We'll have to clear up some of these others, right? But that's absolutely fine. So we'll declare a war here, pressing this guy's claim. Although we really should make sure that he's the correct religion. He isn't. He's an order member. He has 33 reasons to not accept this. Hmm. I'm going to... Well, we already sent him a gift. If we imprison him, he might leave the court. But I'm going to do it anyway. And he escaped. Sad. Well, we'll see if we can find a different person to come to court then. Hopefully we can find another one. 30 reasons not to. You're a child. Okay. You have 25 reasons not to. We can try this. Yeah, 10 reasons not to. Okay. We recently tried to imprison this guy. Eh, fair enough. Fair enough. So we got kind of greedy there. I was hoping to convert him over first, but unfortunately it did not happen. We can look in here then. We have lots of targets here, right? I'm not too concerned. We can invite this guy to court. And he is hopefully going to just accept the uh, conversion. So we would hop in here. We would press... Whose claims is this? This guy's. Okay. And then we would demand his conversion, which he will accept. There we go. And now we'll declare this, pressing Adam's claim. Perfect. So this guy has access to like 4,000 troops. This is not spooky at all. We'll raise only our men-at-arms, and we'll just head on in as soon as those are raised. Wonderful. A question of loyalty, huh? Ah, uh, it'll be fine. I only needed to hear her say it. Cool. So I would very much like to have attacked Yoruba Land, but this is okay, too. This is actually going to make it less border gory when we do it that way. So that sounds good. We're going to head in and... This seems ambitious. So the Mongols have declared war on us. Okay. I'm not scared of the Mongols, to be clear. It's very ambitious. 
It's also a good time for a dramatic cliffhanger. So it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, I guess we're going to beat up the Mongols a bit. I don't know why they declared this. This, this like, I, I think they're trying to coattail off of this war, but we've, we've put so little strength into this. I, I don't see this going well for the Mongols at all. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time. Why would they declare that? It makes no sense. Well, we'll see.